Uh, Dave told us you got the Saturday, or excuse me, the game two start. Just your thoughts about getting that assignment and um, what what you've improved on in the last year. Oh man, I'm excited. We're gonna get that, get out there and get after it, and uh, go play Texas, play another team other than the Razorbacks. Uh, you know, I feel like from a year ago, I've developed a more competitive attitude. And uh, I've worked on my changeup a lot. I got my breaking ball working really good. And uh, I'm ready. I'm, I'm excited and ready to get after it. Bob? Hey, hey Peyton. Um, Dave said you, you were throwing like 90, 91, 92 last year, I guess. And then now you're, your fastball is pretty consistently in the, in the, in the mid-90s. He said like if you threw 17 out out of 20, it'd probably be 95 and above. Uh, what have you done to increase that velocity? And, and how, do you, how, how do you feel like that helps you? Uh, I feel like with that, I've, I've gained some weight, gained about 15 pounds. Um, I've gotten more consistent with my long toss. I'm long tossing a couple, couple days a week. And as far as helping me out, you know, I can, I'm confident enough if I want to throw inside fastball, to righty or lefty, I can do it. Same thing on the other half of the plate. And I guess being on the same mound that, you know, Clayton Kershaw and those guys were in the, the playoffs in the World Series, how, how exciting is that for, for a young guy like yourself? Oh, it's really exciting getting out there and playing at the same stadium and playing on the pitch on the same mound as all the other big guys. Uh, it's exciting. Ouch. Peyton, I know. You're, you're a young guy, but I mean, Texas has kind of been a traditional rival for Arkansas. I mean, being an in-state kid, does, does playing Texas, you know, getting to pitch against Texas mean anything to you? Oh, yeah, it means a lot growing up. Uh, if it says anything, my dad didn't really let me, didn't let anything in the house that was orange. So, uh, <laughs> so that's, that's fun. I'm ready to get out there and play him. Andre. <laughs> Hey, Peyton, how are you? Um, just wanted to ask you about Lyle Lockhart, what you've seen out of him so far. And, you know, he, with him getting the game, he's getting the game three start. Um, just how's he looked to you? What's he brought to the rotation? Um, look at him. He's, he's a really special kid. Um, I've seen him develop over, over the fall, coming into the spring. I'm ready to watch him pitch. Anytime you hear a Friday guy coming into the, coming to play for us, it's uh, it's pretty big, and I'm ready to ready to watch him pitch. Wait, Peyton, uh, you've seen this uh, Arkansas batting order is is uh, <laughs> close up as anybody. And what what's the the problem facing these guys? And I'm interested in particular Matt Goodhart, the the problems he presents uh, to you. Uh, Matt Goodhart, he's a uh, He's a good hitter. I'm glad he's on my team as long as, as far as all the other hitters on the team as well. He's got power, can hit for consistency, hit all over the different parts of the field, and uh, he does his job when he's at the plate. Nate? Yeah, uh, Peyton, just how big was it for last year? You, you know, you got a save in the last game of the season and as far as giving you some momentum going into the offseason. And, what did you do during the summer with all the COVID problems and everything as far as, as keeping in shape? Um, getting the save last year was – it was big. It was fun to get out there and do that. Now that I'm a starter, it's a little different, but I'm still going out there with the same mentality, just going inning for inning, executing pitches, getting after it. And uh, over the summer with all the COVID, I just did everything that I could to keep getting better. Was it, was it the fall where you really felt you made your big jump? Uh, yeah, I coming in after summer ball, uh, I felt like that I made a pretty big jump, and I was excited to get back on the field and play with all the other teammates. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, I'm wondering what you've seen of Zeb Zebulon Vermillion getting the uh, opening day start for you guys. What do you expect from him? Uh, I'm I'm excited for him. I'm ready to see him get out there and do his thing. Uh, 
he's just a he's a big guy on the mound, so that gives him uh, a lot of advantages. And he has those really good cutter, those good fastball, and uh, has good pitches. Gets a lot of outs and throws a lot of strikes. You guys have been inside for quite a while now. I'm wondering uh, how ready you guys feel to go take the field and play a real game. Uh, I think we're more ready than we ever have been. Uh, we've been playing inside, been playing same guys for past six, seven, eight months. And uh, ever since season got canceled last year, we've been, we've been anxious to get out there and play. Thanks. Curtis, you have anything? Hey, Peyton, I was going to ask you about the, the defense behind you. You know, a lot of times a, a pitcher is about as good as the, the guys behind him there. What do you think about the group you have this year? Uh, I couldn't ask for a better defense behind me. You know, with as far as more in battles at short and second, I think that's the best mental in third in the in the country. And uh, Nesbit at third, you know, it's, it's awesome having a guy like him on the corner, and then uh, having Colin at first or whoever else is going to be at first. Um, and then all the other all the outfielders is Franklin and Wallace and Webb or Gregory and it's just any, any all them guys can go out there and play and I'm happy to have all of them. Last one here, Hutch. Peyton, you said your dad didn't let anything orange in the house. I mean, what, what was his reaction when you told him you were going to get the start, not just the start, but against the Longhorns? Uh, he, he was excited for me. He was real proud of me and uh, he's going to be there down there in Arlington to watch and I'm ready to do it. That's it. Thanks, Thanks. Thank you all.